Hi everybody, it's Mark here again with Exotic Car Play Place and today we are going to explore the fine art of modifications and specifically Porsche 996 Turbo. So we're heading over to Ed, my only and favorite Porsche mechanic and mechanic who is the only one that I entrust to actually drive my Lamborghini. So he is a gentleman here located in Northeast Edmonton and I just want to share his experience and we're going to be talking about his 996 Turbo and the project that he has undertaken. Now of course you've seen previous videos of mine that we featured his car where we did a review and we talked about some good things and some bad things about the car but today we are undertaking a modification like anything no matter how fast your car can be everybody gets sort of bored with that eventually and you want to look for the next greatest thing. Now before we get to that be sure to subscribe don't forget if you have not already subscribed to my channel look below Go to my channel, check it out, many great videos there as well. But again, do please subscribe to my channel, there's going to be a lot of good information there. So let's check, take a look, let's take a look at Ed's car here, and I'm going to show you the first stage on his 996 Turbo project, and you tell me if this is up your alley. So let's take a look. So we landed at Ed's shop here, we're going to take a look at his 996 Turbo here, and talk about the modifications that he's about to uh, embark on here to try to improve the performance of his 996 Turbo. So, again, in summary, what we're going to talk about here, Project 996 Turbo. And what we're looking at here for this first series of performance upgrades, we are, obviously we've taken a few things apart here, or Ed has, because he is looking at kind of first stage modifications on the 996 Turbo, and I hope this helps everybody out there who is considering this modification. I would say, the research that we've done, this is one of the easiest modifications, relatively low cost to do, and it gains huge power. So what we're going to do is ultimately flash the ECU, but with the ECU we need to support that. We need to support it by cleaning out the catalytic converters or replace them with bypass cats. And the other thing of course is the mass airflow sensor has also been programmed out of the system. So those are the main things. Now, running that, that ECU flash is going to change the amount of boost going to the engine. Now, there are limits there, of course. You'll see these factory turbos are actually quite small. So, there's, this first stage of ECU upgrade really is somewhat limited. So, that limitation comes mainly because of the turbos and some of the intercooling piping. Now, for this first stage, again, we're trying to keep the budget low. What we're looking at is keeping the factory turbos, keeping the factory intercooling system, keeping the factory injectors. That is the first stage. All we're doing is flashing the ECU, boring out the cats, and the reprogram of course is going to nullify the, uh, the mass airflow sensor. And we're going to show you exactly how we do that and what all these parts look like. So firstly let's look at the turbos. Obviously I mentioned the turbos are too small. This is a factory turbocharger from the, uh, the 996 Turbo. In this case, we're going to leave this thing alone. This is kind of the first stage of performance upgrades. Now, there are other a few performance killers in this car, some of which happen to be in the intercooler and piping. So if you follow this turbo down and you look under here, look at the intercooling, intercooler pipe. Look at that flat. This flat, that's useless. So you're going from a round pipe and you're going into something that is relatively flat. So that flat piping there kills performance. That's really on these factory 996 turbos, that's where a major uh, bottleneck happens to exist. And so that will be likely something that Ed's going to be upgrading here very shortly. But in this project, we're not going to look at that just yet. The big thing, of course, what we're going to do is, which I already mentioned, we have to supplement those upgrades with some other background support. And some of that happens to be is we're going to upgrade into some better spark plugs. We're going to upgrade into a 997 turbo coil system. So we're using an upgraded spark plug, obviously, to support much higher spark. And these are the original coils that were in this car as factory. Again, we are upgrading that to the 997 turbo coils for a hotter spark. So we want to make sure that we're getting all the spark and all the air to the system. When we're running this ECU, 
at a higher boost, that is, you know, obviously a lot of extra strain on the motor. And if we don't do all the right things to support that, you could be asking for trouble. And so the next thing, of course, is the mass airflow. Here is the original. Now this actually is not original original. This is uh, an upgrade that Ed had actually installed in his car previous. Evolution Motorsports. Um, this effectively is a housing for the mass airflow sensor that comes in this car. And so Ed effectively removed the mass airflow sensor, which I have in my hand. He pulled that out. We don't need it anymore because it will be eliminated uh, through the programming. And this one here, of course, is wide open. Bigger bore than the factory, of course. But again, more importantly, uh, it's ready to go. Larger diameter and the mass airflow has been removed. So now we're into the cat. This is what we actually have to do for the catalytic converter. We want to hollow this out. I mean, you can buy the bypass pipe, but this one here is a much more cost effective way to do this if you're looking at a budget. So this is kind of how we do this. So that's how you do it. So after all that boring and drilling, this is basically what you have. You have a hollowed out catalytic converter. And there's two of these in this 996 Turbo. But this is going to support this performance upgrade. Now of course, because of this, your two O2 sensors would not work. You'd have a fault, a CEL code or something like that if you didn't flash this properly. But of course this has been flashed Hence the upgrade performance, and of course it is to nullify this. It won't be, it'll basically ignore the signal from the catalytic converter. So that's why we can do this. So this is what we effectively have at the end of drilling out those catalytic converters is a pile of rubbish. And that's really all that was inside that cat. So after all of this work that Ed is doing to his car, the ultimate gains from this relatively inexpensive upgrade happens to be in that neighborhood of about 100 horsepower, 80 to 100 horsepower, and a good 100 foot-pounds of torque. That should take this thing to, you know, basically what was considered a fast car in its day to an extremely fast car in its day, and you will definitely feel that by the seat of the pants more than just on the dyno. So we do expect some pretty substantial gains, and it's for a relatively low cost, if you don't mind hollowing out the, the cats yourself, sending the ECU in, all that being said, and the upgrades on the coils, you might be into it for about three grand. That's it, relatively low cost for a Porsche. And the next stage, and we'll have to wait and see, so stick around and we'll see what Ed has planned next for this car. But down the road, I mean, the next stage would be upgrading these turbos, which we know are quite small already. Upgrading this intercooling piping, which we know already is too small and it's quite skinnied up there which doesn't help the situation so upgraded piping turbos and of course the injectors because when you upgrade all of the turbo you flow more air you flow more air you're pushing more fuel because you have one more flash on the ECU but because of that you got to get that fueling you got to have the fuel to support the fuel and the air to support you don't want to detonate that's the last thing you want to do you will be looking at an expensive engine rebuild if you don't do all the right steps so again, those are supportive things that we're going to do, possibly down the road. Big turbo, intercooling piping, and of course the injectors. So that summarizes today's project, and I hope you all like that. For relatively meager cost, big gains to be had out of this 996 turbo. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope it was everything that you had hoped it would be. And at the very least, it was a good piece of information. Now this is just the beginning and the way I see it Ed's always a hungry power hungry guy who loves his Porsches to go fast and I would expect this to be the first step in that series of modifications and you know what let's let's follow along because there will be many videos in the future coming up on Ed's Porsche here his 996 turbo but again as a summary I hope you enjoyed it please do subscribe like comment to my video and we'll talk to you soon bye bye